Plywood decks must be at least 5 8 of an inch minimum. ACX exterior grade with finished side up. The plywood should be tongue and groove, properly blocked and nailed. Glued and screwed as preferred to meet local building codes. Plywood joists shall have a maximum span of 16 inches and structurally sloped a minimum of a quarter inch per linear foot. Clean the surface and remove any grease, loose paint, oil, dust, curing agents and foreign material that may interfere with the adhesion of the project material. Use 26 gauge bonderized 2 inch by 4 inch drip edge metal flashing for outer edge of the deck. Using a manufacturer's approved caulking, adhere the flashing into place. It is a good idea to make cuts in a pie or pizza slice shape in the flashing for corner installation. Overlap the flashing approximately 4 inches and use a manufacturer's approved polyurethane caulking underneath the flashing and on all exposed seams. Stagger nails every 3 to 4 inches along the flashing to flatten the metal. Install the outer edge flashing first, working your way to the deck to wall flashing. For flashing installation on the deck to wall, use 4 by 4 inch sized bonderized flashing. All areas of overlap where the flashing is over the deck and flashing overlaps must be caulked and smoothed. Areas of exposure risk must be minimized to ensure a long lasting watertight surface. Remove any dust or loose debris from the plywood joints and seams. Apply the LifeDeck Specialty Coatings 3-inch seam tape over the seams of the plywood and flat. Apply the manufacturer's approved polyurethane caulking or 1577 FM texture coat over the seam tape. Then spread the material across the seam and seam tape to adhere the seam tape to the surface. Allow all areas to dry overnight before starting the next phase of application.